Hi there, I'm Christopher. I'm a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft. And what I want to take a look at in this video is how we can utilize the V4 statement to be able to loop through data. Now, one of the things that you'll frequently need to do is to display information that's, say, inside of an array. And the way that we'll do that in view is by using the V4 directive. Now, the way that we set up with our V4 is like this. Let's return back to a little sample application. You're going to notice that I've got a bit of data here. We're going to return an array of cruises, and I want to display all of these cruises. So let me go right up to here, and let's actually um, just do this uh, with the div. So I'm going to say V4. And then now in here, you indicate what it is that you want to loop through and give it a variable name. This behaves very similar to doing like a for each where or for of in, uh, in JavaScript, where what you're going to do is identify some variable, and then it's going to go through your array. And for every item that it finds in there, it will automatically assign it to be that, uh, that variable that you identify. So I'll be able to say cruise in cruises. So there's our, our cruises down below. Here's our individual cruise. And so now this will actually automatically loop through all of our items. Now, because of the fact that I already had this from earlier, where I'm saying cruise dot, we'll be able to use the exact same code that we had. So you'll notice that there's our cruise, there's our cruise, there's our cruise, the whole way down. So if I save this, now what you're going to notice, again, with the magic of our, um, uh, our, our live server, is that it automatically refreshes my display here. And so what we can notice over on the right side is that our logic is still applying. So our seats available for the cruise to the moon is true. Our early bird is true. So it mentions that book early bird. For our cruise to Mars, no seats available, so no button. So that's why we don't get a button after cruise to Mars. And then for our um, uh, for our cruise to the as uh, asteroid belt, what you'll notice is that we've got our seats available is true, no early bird. So it's just going to display out that book now on the button. Now, one thing that you should always do whenever you're displaying out a, a list using v4 in view is you should always set each item with a key. Because what this will do is it will help view in case your array updates, figure out where it should go into your HTML to perform those updates. Now, if you happen to have maybe a set of data from a database where you have like a primary key or some other identifier, then you could just go ahead and use that identifier. In my case, I don't have that because it's a hard-coded array here, no IDs. But fortunately, I can actually find out where we are in here by grabbing the index. So if I update my code here, pass in two parameters, so rather than just cruise, I'm going to say cruise and then index. That index will then start at zero and then go one, two, three as we go through our list. So zero for the first item, one for the second, two for the third, etc. Kind of like you might expect if you were using, say, a, a for statement. So now let me go ahead and set up my key, and I'm going to use the shortcut. I can use a v dash bind. But I'm going to use the shortcut. This is typically the way that it's done. I'll say key equals, and then in my case, it will be that index. Now, when I save this, you're not going to notice any changes to the page because there aren't any updates to, to apply visually. But internally, this is going to help improve performance, and it is a best practice when you're doing loops to display items inside of view. And so that is how we can use the V4 in view to display out a list of items on a page.